And hello YouTube and welcome to my show, Species here. So, oh lovely, it's just hammering down rain. But hey, see what I mean about these pillars in the roof not letting any water by? That's oh, wonderful. So we've made a few changes since our premiere episode into this new Direwolf 20 world. I added a little bit of a platform and moved my crucible outside because I'm not all that neat and tidy with my magic and doing magic out here can cause some real issues. So rather than have a house full of wisps, we'll take that bit of our business outside. I did do a bunch of researching off camera as well. I uh, built a bookcase, slapped it with the wand, got my necromonic, uh, whatever. <laughs> Thomonomicon, sorry. It's not the Necromonicon, that's a different book. But I got my Thomonomicon and did some research and came up with a few things. Um, of course, I put the book away. There it is. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, we got our base metals, tin and iron transmutation, basic transmutations, elementum, nitor, gunpowder, thomium. We got our magical building blocks, our enchanted fabric, and our thermometer. And that, as they say, is that. Uh, basic artificing and basic alchemy. So, that's where that sits at the moment. Um, I didn't do the recipes on screen because a large portion of uh, Thomcraft is discovery. And discovering something by watching somebody do it and discovering it by actually putting items in there by yourself are two different animals. Um, people really want to know how the stuff's built? Well, I guess we can do that as well. So, and I'm currently cooking up some bricks here. Um, another addition that I made, I put a platform on this side, which is also unfinished, and fired a couple of coke ovens into it. So there you go. They're actually uh, kind of hanging on the other side of that wall. What else did we do? We got some basic farmage going. Uh, I'm going to need lots of books. I need to build an enchanting room. Uh, we also need books for mistcraft, so here we've got a cow farm. How do they keep climbing out? I got double high walls. Okay, I know how you keep climbing in. It's how you keep climbing out I don't get, dude. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're just gonna end up being a piece of free floating leather, you are. This was uh, more difficult than it needed to be because unfortunately I got it up to the point I had about eight cows in there. And I went down to feed them and make some more cows and there was that horrifying hiss followed by the even more horrifying explosion and our cow farm was creepered. All the cows ran like hell <laughs> and that was that. So I did rebuild it and uh, well Although we lost a little bit here and there, it gained me a little bit of leather. Because I killed everybody that got out. can only sleep at night. Oh, it's not quite dark enough. The other thing I did was put in a regular farm. Um, again, nothing fancy. Something I'm going to have to deal with by hand, and that's fine. So, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Get all our seeds replanted. That's the ticket. One thing I noticed in um, one of my other playthroughs where I set up a, a proper forestry type wheat farm. Um, I really think that this hand farming nets you more seeds. I noticed with the wheat farm, I was getting a pretty consistent amount of seeds, in so much as, like, one per wheat plot. 
like if I hit that I'd get one seed. Here you consistently get two or three. We're going to have to build some seed bags eventually to speed up the replant process, but that's neither here nor there. So, this time around, for instance, I think we'll find we got a heck of a lot more than what we put into it. Now, there's 62 plots here, so I'm going to get 62 wheat. Um, the only time I've ever seen you get more than one wheat was on multiplayer servers when I was running the old uh, Tekkit packs. And would quite often on a multiplayer get your little farm established and... Boy, it didn't take you too long to fill up wheat chests because you would get two or three wheat at a time out of the plot. So... Okay, I think I got all the squares filled back in and only end up with seven extra seeds. Hmm. And some reed farming because paper and books are just critical in these particular mod packs. And what does it bring me? 26 at a time. Okay. Now well, that's alright. And we have Cactus. All nice and easy stuff. And it's pitch dark. So, I really don't want to have happened to that farm what happened to my other farm. So, let's a quickly have a little nap. There we go. Now, zip back down here. Ow! Do not stand on the cactus. Oops, the heck. Oh my. Got a little overzealous there, and I think I just completely wiped out one of my flax plants. Yes, I did. Damn. It's not what I wanted to do. I only wanted to take the top. Blasted things. So. Okay. is very important as well in this game, so we're going to need to collect a fair bit of it. I used up everything I had making the couple of canvas bags that I'm currently toting about. Alright, so quick harvest of those items. And place them in there to each their own. Some stringage. Like I said, I used up all of my seeds, or all of my string, I should say, the last time around, so. And some flax. We have some wheat. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I think I should probably quickly throw together a tree tap, because I do believe that the rubber trees I tossed out there are also ready. So, let's go and tap those. Bumpity bump. Oops. There we go. And there. I do have another. Um, patch of rubber trees. Down on the other side, sort of off property, these are what I call my safe ones, because I can get here without running into spawns. So, and there we go. That's our rubber itch. How'd we do? Ten. Eh? Okay, well, definitely room for improvement. You can see I also put up, uh, a nether portal 
which once I get my nether base established, I'll probably just use a linking book and not the portal. But, either way. Okay. Then we'll get that. And we'll just throw the tree tap in here. Ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think I'm just gonna straight up cook those. There's our bricks are done. So let's throw those in there. Oops. <laughs> okay. And, I think, quickly, boom, throw together some of these. Lovely. And, already put together a couple. There we go. Okay, now, first thing, of course, we want to make is a straight alloy furnace. There we go. One alloy furnace. And I think that's going to go out here. So, yeah. And pretty much anywhere will do. Eh. Lovely. Okay. The rest of those bricks we won't need right now. So let's throw them back up here. I suppose that we should start getting some of our basic gear together. Because we are going to need machines to be doing some business here. So of course we're going to start with the pulverizer. Uh, we need pistons, machines, blah, 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 so... And pistons, we're gonna need iron. I also need copper for this build. Uh, and wood I have, cobblestone I have, so... Uh, redstone, that uh, would be the other one. Okay, there we go. And let's throw some of this in here. Uh, we do have a little bit of paper. I think maybe what I should also do... Purple flowers, there we go. Let's chuck these in here. Uh, no. I think I've forgotten how to do this. Oh, it's just terrible. Blank plan. Oh, indigo dye. Dang. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to find some of those other flowers. In the meantime, we sure don't need that in there. Okay. Uh, really? That's all the wood I've got? Come on. Give me some wood. Thank you. Look at that. Ah, it's brilliant. Alright, now. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We will place iron. Two, three, four. Whoops. And. And we get ourselves some pistons, because we are going to need a few of these. We might as well just pretty well have them. Okay, now, moving on to our pulverizer. We're also going to need uh, machine frames. One gold ingot, some iron, uh, some glass. Okay, so... some glass. Okay. So one of those. Four of these. Four of these. And since we managed to guess it the right order, we actually got the item we wanted. And a redstone reception coil. Okay. Now, a couple pieces of flint, copper, and a piston. Hmm? Flint. Boom, boom. 
copper, I think we already grabbed. The piston, of course, we also have. So, you beat the flint, you beat the piston, one of these, one of these, and copper. Not even close, eh? What would we do? Ah, there we go. And a pulverizer. Lovely. So, our first machine. And okay. Uh, I don't think there's any point laying that down, because I need a second machine. What I need is... Aqueous accumulator. So we're gonna need another one of those, some tin and a bucket, and a pneumatic, which is redstone, iron, and glass. Okay. So redstone, glass, iron, in one form or another gets us this little pneumatic servo. Lovely. Okay. Uh, another machine frame. We can do that. I think. No, we can't because we don't have any gold. Alright. Let's get gold. Oh, yeah, I wanted to throw it away because I have so much. Alright. And again. You put things in the right order, they will work. And I believe... No, pneumatic tin. Hmm. Okay, some tin. Alright, now we put this here, and this here, these here. Uh, the bucket we didn't bother to get. Uh, those are all full buckets. I do have empties, however. And because I've got lots, I'm not just going to build another. There we go. Those are in there because uh, buckets do have certain properties, and uh, some of them are quite useful for glass. Quite useful in Thumbcraft. An aqueous accumulator. Lovely. Now we need to decide what kind of engine we want to run this with. And steam, obviously. But, we do have choices here. Commercial steam engine, industrial steam engine, standard steam engine, steam engine. Copper gears, redstone trannies, copper. Hmm. This one uses iron plates. Now, I know the hobbyist is your basic, and that's usually what you start with. But, see, I'm quite curious as to, uh, quite curious as to what the power output is comparatively, so. Okay, I obviously missed the point there somewhere. Ah, in a rolling machine, <laughs> Okay, we won't be building one of those right off the puppy. Okay, and this one's a gold hog, so... We will be needing some of these. Okay. Now, we have to build gears. I can come out of there. <laughs> wow, are we ever doing good today, I tell ya. Mm-hmm. And we're going to build some wooden gears. Lovely. Uh, I believe. If we do that, that will take us to our next step. Gold plated gears. Lovely. And we're going to make enough for a couple of these hobbyist steam engines. Uh, yeah, that'll leave me enough. 
Okay, what else do I need? Just pistons and glass. Lovely. There's the extra pistons we built. Some of those. Some of this. And... Nuggies. Doom, 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 doom. There we go. Two hobbyist steam engines. Beautiful. Let's get rid of some of our extras here. Yeah, I guess it would have helped if I'd actually pulled them out of the crafting table. <laughs> uh, and I have no actual indigo flowers. I'm going to have to go hunt for those. I know that there are areas they don't come up in. So, yeah, problematic at best. Um... Yes, indeed. That can become quite problematic. None of those went where I wanted them. That's brilliant. And some little gold nuggies. Okay, now... Accumulator. Water bucket. He's only one, huh? That's okay. Because we only need one. Because I did put a little half infinite pool. There we go. What's half infinite? Well, it works half as well as a true infinite pool of 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Okay. And drop water in there. Let's set this puppy to have. That can close, and that can close, and close, and close, and those will be our outs. Which also brings us to the fact that we don't have everything we need. Let's take that rubber out of there. Where do these keep coming from? It's just weird. It's like every time I open and close a certain inventory, I end up with some red cobblestone slabs. I will figure it out. I will, I will, I will. Now... Use up some more of this precious gold. Lordy. And some glass, which if I don't make some more, is going to be just as precious. And we're going to make some pipes. So. Yeah. That'll do. And we're going to need to waterproof them. So, okay. We have cactus. We don't have any actual waterproof. So let's make some green. Cork de cactus mon. The only thing I'm curious about is how are we for recipe for a powered furnace? A lot of things they changed. Um, okay. So I think we can pretty much whip one of those up pretty quick as well. Um, now, I was kind of sure I'd grab some gold bars. Hmm. Alright, well, who knows. Oh, right, I turned them into something else. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, you really do need to do these, right? And otherwise, you get... Nothing. Okay. I need that. Uh, what else did we want? Copper and bricks, eh? Okay. So, copper. And yes, we built these for a reason. And bricks. Uh, we need to build another one of those machine blocks. So... That's probably wrong. Ooh. What a good guess. Wow. Okay. And copper. Uh, brick. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm faking it. Oh, bit of redstone on the top. We were so close. Okay. One powered furnace. Look at that. Lovely. All we need now is for our cactus green to 
come to fruition and there it is so we will make this into waterproofing we will make some waterproofing pipe there we go what the hell happened there oh let's see uh, I'll probably end up turning that into induction but uh, another time okay now we have our waterproof pipe okay sorry fingers on the wrong button man okay and I think yeah well, I get a feeling I have to go build build some wrenches. Uh, powered furnace pulverizer, yeah, let's put the pulverizer there and powered furnace beside it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay, happy days. Uh, we'll try this again. There we go. Now, our steamy engines. Lovely. One more piece of waterproof pipe. That's it. That should give them the water supplies they need. Yes, indeed. Now, how are we doing out here? We have 45 coal coke in that machine. So, see what sort of stead that lies us in. Might as well pull the one out of here as well. There we go. Make the world a little more even. Get that down all the way across the room. We forgot where we were going. It was right by the door. <laughs> okay. Let's feed this. Oh, come on. Um, where's the rest of the interface? Hmm. Now, don't tell me. Okay, there's one of two things happening here. Either we need coal to run these, and they won't run on coal coke. So we'll try that first. Okay, it may just be then that they require some levers. I have no sticks, so I can't make levers. There we go. Now we... Oh. Damn. It always takes me a while to get back into that with these crafting tables. Dump, 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 dump. Oh. Okay. And yes, I just made 64 levers. <laughs> huh, that's all it required. They do require levers to run now. So. Uh, frick. Hmm. How to run the other one. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing there that touches, is there? There we go. That'll have to do for now. Really poorly thought out, isn't it? <laughs> okay, what do we got? That's starting to work its way up. So. Oops. Input. Yes, we want that side open. We can close this off. We can close that off. 
We want this to be an input, and that can remain an input. Uh, redstone configuration. Low, that works. This guy. Uh, low is fine. Configs. We want that as an out. We want this as the in. So that can close. That we don't know. Do that. Okay, uh, I don't. We actually want it going out the bottom. There we go. Okay, so those are up to par, eh? Now let's see. What do we need? We need gold and iron, I suppose. It'd be the most important at this point, so let's get some gold cooked up. No, oh, no. I know what we need to do. Is ferrous. Okay. Good. Alrighty. Um, other thing we want to get to here. Yeah, yeah. I was using uh, one of the aspects I needed for Thongcraft is contained within crafting tables. So this anvil shape there. Yeah. So ended up building a raft crafting tables, which is okay, because I actually need one now. And speaking of tables, that's exactly what we're looking for, in this case, a writing table. Written. A writing desk. A writing desk. I wonder why it shows up twice. Alright, how do you build it? There we go. What? Liquid black? Oh, okay. Ink sack, feather, and wood. Okay. Feather. Uh, I guess ink sacks are even in the other chest. Yes, yes. Uh, ink sacks. Well, could use more of those. Um. I suppose the furnace would like to be able to spit out its gear too, eh? So... Of course we don't have enough wood going on. Oops. Mm -hmm. You can have those. Good. Um... Wood. There we go. Because I need to build a chest. We might as well make it a fairly decent sized chest, so we'll go iron. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One iron chest. Beautiful. We're just gonna slap that there. There. Oh, it should ping those over and we should have our ferris ingots coming in here. Oh, I didn't want to bloody cook those. What am I doing? God damn it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was silly. That's what we wanted to do. We want the dust, not the ingots. Oh, what a waste that is. Okay. So, and I think because I have so many levers, that
We need to repulverize those, unfortunately, so. Let's fire that up. That was silly. That was really, really silly. Okay, these guys are up to their 1.6. That's lovely. Okay. I guess I can actually shut that guy off. I don't need him cooking anything right now. We just need this guy pulverizing our ferrous metals. I think we also need him to pulverize iron, so... And that'll give us our invar ingots, or whatever the heck they're called. And that should be what he had on board. So let's take this. Ferris dust. And for the moment, we're just going to stick it into this chest. Okay. Uh, what else do we got going on here today? Oh, a writing desk. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, I think I have enough wood. So, for the writing desk, we need wood, ink sack, feather. So, feather, ink a sack, and some wood. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One writing desk. And I think we're going to throw him. Uh, yeah. Okay, right there. Huh. That's strange. That's really strange. There we go. I kind of wanted it tucked into the corner, but it didn't really want to do that. Okay. And that gets that part started. Again, books, etc., etc., are what we really need for that. Until we get a whole whack of leather, we ain't going to have that. Oh, look. We get some extra ferrous metal out of that. Lovely. Let that cook down. So... Okay, let's get rid of some of this extra gear. Okay, rubber. I want to get enough minion shards here to build a minium stone, but so far that just has not happened. You can go back up there, I only have enough leather for two books, eh? Yeah, I definitely got to work on that. on that. Okay. Eh. Yeah. Take one of these out. Restock these coke ovens. Boom. And we'll have to build some glass bottles at some point and get the creosote out of there. So. Okay. Well, I think we accomplished a fair bit today. I'm going to to a point where I can harvest a little more leather. Um, I want to build an induction smelter. I think it'll be our next machine. And once we have some in-bar, we can get rid of these and move up to magmatic engines. Because I do believe, yeah, so far that much. I've uh, been smelting tin, and every time I go out mining, I scoop up whatever lava I can find. The tin, of course, for the cans. Yeah. I'm also up to the point with Thumbcraft where I have the arcane blocks, so we'll be building our next major Thumbcraft machine as well. But that's all going to be taking place on our next episode. I think that's going to be it for Chapter 15, or what's probably really Chapter 2, because this is a new pack. But at any rate, until then, everybody have yourselves a great day. This has been Species 7. Ciao for now, YouTube.